Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Around the Verse gave us a Star Citizen and LA Studio update, so let's delve right in with a summary. The character customizer is being introduced with 3.1 as we know. The live version will have more functionality than is currently in the PTU build though. So some of the customizations, there are going to be a few more there. There's going to be thumbnails showing previews of your character choices as well. The feature is currently also being polished, so expect a bit more from it. They have been making sure helmet lighting is working how they want them to, making sure that it actually highlights and lights uh, the characters inside the helmet. They've been working on the male and female senators and making finishing touches to the legacy armors, which are the older armors in the Star Citizen history. They have been doing lots of visual improvements to the three moons, Yella, Daymar, and Selen, with color balancing, object distribution, a new diffuse height and global map as well. They are working on some further detailed polish, improved procedural distribution for planet side features, and some dynamic weather effects. All of these improvements are going to aid massively with the generation of procedural planets and procedural moons. I say procedural, I mean procedurally assisted. A lot of the work they do is um, they, they grab a planet, they make a planet, they, they do that largely procedurally, so they choose what biomes and everything they want there, and then they go down as an artist, as a developer, and move around bits, um, paint in forests, change mountains, and that sort of stuff. So they can define large areas there, so it's not entirely procedural, it's procedurally assisted. Environmental art have been working on improvements to Delamar, especially the transitions between close, medium, and far viewpoints, and the scattering of assets. General space views of Yella have been much improved too, and you can see this now in 3.1's PTU. They've also been r and Ding, new tech called Speed Tree, which we will see more in the coming months of. A player hanger revamp is currently underway to bring those hangers in line with the current modular assets, making them usable in the persistent universe in the future. They're currently in grey box, those assets, and there's no scheduled completion date yet, though expect it to appear on the schedule report or the roadmap at some point. Prototypes of Hurston and its moons are currently ongoing. They've begun the white box block out of Ariel, one of the moons there already. It has some very unique geography. There is some more stuff 3.1 gameplay wise as well. So they've been working on the distress service beacons. It currently functions similar to a mission beacon with a quantum travel marker appearing when a service has been accepted and you can select what services you want to accept in your MobiGlass mission app. It's the initial iteration, so you can track and untrack or cancel a beacon, and you can select the notification range. That's going to be tunable as well. So the Personal Manager app is also getting more polished, which includes work on the Star Marine loadout customizer. So based on uh, what mode you're playing in Star Marine, some items earned in the Persistent Universe will then carry over to Star Marine. That's the intention going forward as well. You both have to lock stuff in the PU for Star Marine. They are also polishing the 3.1 ships and working on various uh, ship and FPS weapons, as well as doing various VFX improvements to current ones in game. There have been 45 out of 46 tasks completed to their current performance goal for 3.1. So they're doing this performance polish. They're smashing their way through tasks through that. There is, however, going to be more work on optimization and performance based on feedback in the Persistent Universe and the PTU currently as well though, so please bear that in mind. With 3.1's live release coming next week, they are actually now looking forward to Alpha 3.2 uh, and scheduling and various other bits for it. So RTV, which is on today, the 23rd of March at 7pm UTC on twitch.tv forward slash Star Citizen, they're going to be looking at the planning and quality of life improvements that are going to be going forward into 3.2 and discussing bits and bobs with the community. They're talking about polls for getting involved and I'm assuming to help prioritise certain things and work work out exactly what the community want in certain aspects and how they can improve the process of their quarterly patches, that sort of stuff. But we'll get a video summary up of that and how you can get involved in more detail once we know more. Also, there was a post on Spectrum asking for volunteer moderators, which I will link down below for people that are interested in helping out further with the Star Citizen community. Every month we have a ship giveaway for March. It's for the Outpost Building Pioneer, donated by our featured org, Forgotten Herald a PMC with a history grounded in UEE military service. They do some pretty cool custom missions in the Persistent
non-existent universe currently. They get people to do voice acting and they have these cool ways and routes that the mission can go. So they do some quite clever in-game training currently now and they have a very friendly active community. So please check out their org and discord below to see if you're a fit for them. But to be in for a chance of winning that Pioneer, please make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and then just make sure you comment on any of my videos made during March. Each video will give you another opportunity to win. Do you have any questions about anything that we talked about? Any of the studio update 3.1, 3.2, Star Citizen mechanics, Squadron 42 stuff, whatever, or suggestions for videos, chuck them in the comments below. A special thank you to my Patreons who allow me to create the amount of content I do. Love you guys. Thank you very much. There's links to Patreon as well as everything else we've discussed down below too. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help me and I'll see you in the verse.